Hello fellow engineers, we're back in Hydraneer, there's been an update, there's a shit load of new stuff, so as you saw in my video, I completed the golden dam, so potentially I have a lot of cash I could spend, could is the problem though, do I really want to take it apart, that was recorded over like three streams, <laughs> it was so much work, <laughs> for that, <laughs> So dumb. So yeah, probably like six hours worth of work just doing that. So I could take it apart, is what I'm saying. Whether I should, don't know. But yeah, so there's been a new update. So I'm going to need some money because I think it's sort of like an end game sort of update. Uh, I had a little go on here the other day off stream just because I wanted to up my production. So, oh god, it was a mess down. Oh shit. But yeah, so I've tripled my production that's not good they are proper how do i get them out of there i can't there you go so i tripled my production but there's there's some teething problems there's quite a lot of boulders floating about i might be able to make a lot of money so we can have a look at the new items and stuff without taking my down but we are making triple the cash we were before so that's good oh shit oh shit oh crap it's all gone wrong oh my this is not good. Let's launch that over there. There we go. So we only built this plant, essentially, to build the golden dam. Uh, it was never sort of built as like a money-making thing, because on this game, this is like the shallowest claim. And presumably if you play this game before, the deeper you go in the game, the bigger the gold you get. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. That's not good, though. Oh, that's our last spanner as well. All right, I'm going to have to run to the shop. I stacked up a load of spanner packs in this shop. What? How did you get here? That must have got like launched or something. Dang. But yeah, so what I was planning to do before this update. Oh look, everything's down. Whoever was saying I have stock market luck. I think it was Sibby. Uh, not today. But uh, yeah, here we go. We've got two left. So what I thought we'd do, we'd go to the other claim and sort of do like a new like plant in one of the deeper claims so we can have a lot more money and then we can like really go to town on the new update although i think maybe we should actually go have a look in the shop so yeah we're gonna go have a look in the new shop see what the update is so i think we'll go in this car i've got some stuff packed in the back very very tidily as you can see <laughs> so yeah we'll go see what sort of price we have to save up and if it's not too bad then we can go right ahead oh shit has he updated the that bridge looks different did he listen to my bridge review it does look a lot better there's more triangles i swear it was all squares before i think he might have listened to my bridge review and he's updated it that's what i'm gonna tell myself anyway so anything new around here no that looks pretty standard Ooh, what's that itchy carts oh yes yeah, so these are the new carts there's a fast wooden cart an agile wooden cart and a wooden cart. Yeah, I don't think I want to bother with one of them. I haven't got any money on me. I might do actually. Is it in the boot? Yeah, I've got some fat cash there. 14 grand. Uh, neon light that way. So we're going to head over that way. That looks good in the dark. Whoa. Oh, yeah. So everything's pretty expensive. We got reactors. Yeah, 25 grand. So I think basically you create power now. It looks like you can store it in a battery. So that's good. We've got cables. We can now power stuff so we've got power david oh so i think instead of water they're just run by power buy stuff that's blatant advertising if i've ever seen it when powered provides a hundred water pressure oh so you don't need to use the old shards anymore you can just power that up although i guess that's powered by a shard because you put a shard in there don't you spanner hurling unit <laughs> what we've always wanted i assume that means spanners like so they can heal stuff that's like degrading Blind. There's so much new stuff. I think he said there's like 45 new items. Oh, so this counts the number of items passing through a gate. Oh, we could have counted how many gold bars were on my bloody dam. Ah, oh, and this is what we've been waiting for. The explosives. They're not too expensive, actually. So I guess to explode one of them, you need logic, which is that one. Yeah, right. Question is, what do I want to do? I think I need to save up more money first. I don't want to... <laughs> rebuild the dam for now i think we'll go to my other claim i'm gonna while i'm here buy some stuff i got a load of stuff in the boot oh, actually should i test the explosive i want i'm gonna test the explosive actually especially as it's like nearly night time we get to see the neons a bit uh, where's the shop bit of this shop it's over here 
No explosives. No oh, thank you. I'm gonna put this other stuff in that I need. Oh, you can sprint backwards. New, new. I've never known a game that you can sprint backwards in. Right, so we'll take this to my new claim. I did actually go and buy a claim the other day. So I think it was this turning here. I'm not entirely sure what I need, but we'll just test explosives. Let's sleep. Let's get some daylight. Damn, this level is really lumpy. Really, really lump. Oh, it's huge. It goes on for miles. So yeah, I guess, do we just bring the explosives over? Do we see what they do? Ah, oh, what I want to try, actually, because I know, I know they're going to explode. Like, that's what they're designed to do. What I want to actually work out is, can I chain an explosion, like, back? Right, I don't know where my claim finishes. I'm guessing it's the last place I can build. So there. So I think that's the edge of my claim. So if I chain these down the road... Ah, no. Stay. Stay. Because my plan is, if it works, it's a long way, but make, like, a chain to the shop. And then, because in the shop I can have, like, unlimited explosions, like, without paying for them. So that would be fun. Why under the ground? Why does it work under the ground? That's no good to anyone. Oh, so is this the line of the claim? And that's the edge. All right, so this is the edge of the claim. All right, we'll do this over here then. Okay, bang, bang, bang. Right, that should be far away. That won't blow me up, will it? Uh, let's just check, actually, how this works. So... Oh, yeah, some stuff came out. Sweet. So that's good to go. I guess we just try this now then, do we? I'm pretty sure as well, in this game, explosives don't, like, send anything flying. I'll tell you what we could do. Uh, we can probably test it with this. So if I put one of these on top, well, definitely on top of that one. If that goes flying, then we know we can, like, do some damage as well. But I don't think that's how explosions work. Uh, anyway, let's see what this does. If I really want this to work, please work. Right, ready? Uh. Yes! It works! It works! Oh, and it's gone. Shit, where's that gone? Uh, does anyone see my blue bar anywhere? <laughs> uh, right, so I've lost my battery. I shouldn't have put that on the top. That has gone miles somewhere. I can't see blue in any direction. I don't know how like powerful explosions are. Could have gone anywhere. But uh, yeah, for now, I know what we're doing. We are making a chain. What is that? Oh, did it get exploded? It didn't go flying. I think anything that gets in an explosion's blast radius, like, turns into scrap metal. Bottom left, scrap metal. Yeah, random metal. But at least we know things don't go flying now, assuming that's how it worked. Maybe we'll test it with a cork next time. Something a bit, a bit cheaper. But uh, yeah, so what I'm going to do, that spacing was fine. I'm literally going to build a path of explosives. Oh, what what end do I start? I think maybe I start this end, go that way, and then start from the shop end and meet in the middle. But I'm gonna blow the shop up. Oh, sh oh god. Oh god. Really? Ow! We're doing this again, are we, game? Okay, thank you. We landed. We landed. <laughs> um, I don't know where... I think that's a different claim. Yeah, we've gone to a different claim. <laughs> We're claim jumping, literally. But uh, what I want to do, assuming the sort of glitch thing still works. It's not really a glitch, but like, I'll show you what I want to do. So imagine a massive chain of explosions going all the way to this shop. Well, not of explosions yet, just of TNT. Because obviously you can only set them off at a claim. You can't do it outside of a claim. So yeah, imagine a massive long chain of explosions to the shop, which I'm going to have to pay for. I'm going to have to pay for them. But once we're here, where are we? Explosions. Why do I keep calling them explosions? Explosives, Matt. Ivs. This doesn't cost me anything. Do you see where I'm going with this? So, bang, 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 bang. Bang! I feel like I need to make more money before I buy all of these, because I don't know how many I'm going to need. That's like a grand already. I've only got like 10 grand on me. 12 grand left. So, yeah, rather than do this now, I'm going to take the money back. We're going to make some more money. And then as we're like making money, we'll start doing this setup. So back to the claim. Hopefully we won't take off in the air again <laughs> and we'll make some fat cash. Right, so with this claim on this sign, well, and judging by the name, there's water underneath. So what we're gonna have to do 
We're going to have to dig down and then have our mine underground. Here we go then. <laughs> Beginning of the end. I want my mine to be at the bottom anyway, because that's where the big gold is. This is a nice little stone. Oh, I've gone relatively straight. Surprise. Ah, oh, sunlight. Vitamin D. That's enough of that. Dig in a hole. Dig in a hole. I remember when I first started playing this game, I didn't realise the pickaxe was a thing. So I was using the old uh, shovel. And the shovel, every single, like, bit of dirt you mine, turns into an actual bit of dirt. Oh, what's that? We found the water. So this is the only water source on this claim. Uh, so we're going to have to dig this out a bit. I might as well sort of dig some holes straight up or straight down to get some light down there. I shouldn't need too much space actually. Ooh, there's a floaty bit there. That might be enough room. I don't know if I'm going to be able to carry stuff down is the only thing. So what do I want down here? I want, well, everything really. This has to go somewhere. That just spurts water out. I'm going to go for the skylight. Can I get out of here backwards? Right, that direction, that direction. What do you think about here with a skylight? Yes. I'm doing the Minecraft sin. <laughs> Straight down. Hopefully we'll fall through the floor. Yes. Oh, we're a bit short. That didn't... Well, I guess it is night time up here. I don't know if these will actually work. Like, I think light probably needs direct line of sight. Let's have a look. So we got those three in a line. Bung one about here. Oh, well, that's a lot brighter, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I don't think the skylights do a lot. I think I just need to go buy some torches, to be honest. So I'll bung like four, maybe. One for each corner. I think these do kick out quite a lot of light as well. Oh, no, I've gone the wrong way. This isn't my claim. All right, it's down. Oh, I probably should have bought that claim. That makes way more sense. Okay, okay. It's master plan time. Right. I didn't realise how close this claim was to the shop. I assume that's the closest one. That's a lot closer than my other one. But if I buy this, how much is it? Shit, now. Right. We'll buy this and then we'll do our trail of explosives. Probably just straight. Like through here. It's not too lumpy. Maybe down here. Yeah, and then we can go through this shop around here. <laughs> Up this way. Or maybe just along that edge. Yeah, I think that makes way more sense though. So we're saving up for a new claim as well. Uh, right. So I've got to sort out like the layout of this pretty much. These have to go on the bottom. These need to go above. Yeah, because I'm going to need... Oh god, I'm going to need a lot of pipe work. I've just realised. Uh, right, so this... Oh look, you can see my little... You can see my sunspot. Oh, the sun's directly in it. <laughs> right, that's probably enough. That's enough digging for now, surely. Right, let's go and get these things involved. I don't, I really don't know how to get all the water about, which is ironic, seeing as I am a drainage engineer. <laughs> right, let's go buy some pipes. I can't remember what way it was. Is it right? Yeah, I think it's right. How much is that? Blimey, pipes are cheap. I'm going to try and connect these as I go. So you now need a straight... Drop them through the skylight. Now we're big braining. Wait, where is the skylight? There it is. <laughs> How did I know that would happen? Oh god. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes. That was quite funny. <laughs> oh, is that going to make it down? I'm just going to trust that everything will make it down. It'll be fine. Oh, I don't know about a T pipe though. No, I think that seemed fine. Yeah, I really hope they're not getting stuck halfway. No way to tell, though. This is definitely an engineered solution. <laughs> oh, bollocks! <laughs> oh! Ah. <laughs> well, that'll do for now. That will do for now. So two corners here. Corner, corner, corner. <laughs> and all I got is bloody T's. Oh, no, there's one. There's one. There's one. Right, let's drop the corners down. Something quite satisfying about dropping stuff. Down a hole. Geronimo! Oh shit. <laughs> Bollocks. Um. Shit. So since you were last here, I did some off-stream stuff. But this is like a fully working setup. It makes some decent gold, which is good. Because I'm going to need gold to buy explosives. Uh, right, so rocks come down there. I've got some little barriers. 
so they can't fall off. You go up there and then everything drops into these pots out the back. I've got my underwater bed. And yeah, so it's been going a while. We've got a crap load of gems. And look, you can see they're quite big. Because we're at the bottom. We've got some... They're all filled with water, but I don't think it matters. Kind of trapped. So yeah, that's the only thing with this. Ah. It's a bit tricky to get up and over. Not sure why I did it like that in the end. I probably should have just lowered those pipes. But hey-ho. So I've got a booster thing there, as we always have. So they're powered by shards as well. But what I found was I was only getting little small, little weeny bits of uh, like all the ores. What I found is if you add another one there and boost this thing. So that's the thing that turns it from dirt into gold and stuff. Should be able to watch it come out now. Ready. Ready. Hey. I said ready. What happened there? Oh no, they've all... It's, we got a blockage. Whoa, shit, you know. Oh, crap. <laughs> Alright, funnel's coming off. <laughs> I thought it was going so well, but it wasn't. It wouldn't be a Hydroneer video without disaster, would it? Look at that. Oh, God. All oh, the gold's going everywhere. Shit here now. <laughs> oh dear. Right. Let's pile these back on then. No, right. I think we're good. Unless are you dirt. Oh, the shit. Did you get. There's another one over there. Oh, crap. Look at that. That is a right old mess. Oh, frig me. That got me right in the cock. Look how big that is. Right. So I'm going to go sell these. So I'm going to turn those into money, and then I'm going to spend money on explosions. Explosions? Well, kind of. On TNT. Yes, and everything is red. Are you kidding me? Oh, oh well, whatever. Shit in a sock. 29 grand? Imagine if the prices were up. What's this going to be worth then? That was a big sword though, to be fair. Less than the sword. It was a good sword. I'll give him that. So we've now got 55 grand. That's like... The most money I've had in this game by far. I think that should get us enough explosives as well. And it was, ooh, do you see that shadow? That was weird. We're going in the water bed. There you go. That was a very weird sleep. I guess because you couldn't see the sky. Essentially, you got to buy these one at a time. And I learned the other day you can sprint backwards. <laughs> right, now I'll bring this closer. And I should just be able to like spin and fill. I'm glad you, you're like telepathic. Telepathic? No. What's the word? Maybe it is telepathic. No, that's brain reading. Mind reading. What's the one where you can do... That thing. <laughs> Telekinetic. That's the one. I'm glad I'm that in this game. Yeah, I know it's dark, but I don't have a bed anywhere near. We got neons. It can't be that bad. Look, neons. <laughs> neons. It's a lightning bolt. No, it is painful. I'll give you that. We'll just fill up the truck and then we'll go sleep. Bed is in... This one? Oh, we can have a posh bed. Do you not do shit beds here? Shit bed. <laughs> so I'm buying the claim that is over to the right. All right, grab my money. Oh shit, really? The money is in there. Can I really not see the money? Oh my god. Well, I may as well make a start. What way was the shop? This way. So basically, I'm doing this from my claim because I can't set these off anywhere. I can only set them off. That's a claim. There it is. There it is. Buy the claim. Oh, we bought the claim. Pop this down. Have a sleep. There we go. Oh, it's bright now. It's bright now. Ah, oh, that's better. All right, so anyway, these need to go in this direction. Oh, look, there's one stuck to my ass. It's a Klingon. It's a Klingon. The trouble is, I don't know the exact, like, disc, like, spacing they need to be for it to work. So I could get away with further, but I won't really know. I could test, but effort. But uh, for now, guys, I'm going to have to leave it there because I am sweating my tits off. My new computer kicks off some serious heat. So I'm going to have to go cool down somewhere. <laughs> it's like the middle of winter and I'm dripping with sweat. Next time, we'll be finishing the trail and blowing up the shop. It's going to be beautiful. But yeah, thanks for joining, guys. Peace, love, and bridges. Take it easy. Bye.